Hello, fabulous Aries. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of February 2014, Love Focus. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. When I looked at the sky for you this month, I was reminded of the phrase, the heart wants what it wants. You know, and there are a million other ways to say that as well. But I think about this idea of how sometimes it isn't about what your mind's telling you. It isn't about what you know is good or right for you. Sometimes you just feel an energy and you feel an attraction and it is what it is and you're responding to an energy and you could say that there's a lesson there but even if there's a lesson there and even if there is a response there that doesn't necessarily mean that it needs to be supported with action that's where power of choice comes in that's where intellect comes in now when I say this it could go one of two ways Either it is you that is having a response to someone else who finds yourself drawn to somebody else without a lot of really logical, clear reasons for having that attraction. You just know that you feel something's there. You feel like there's some learning there. You feel a pull is how the best way to put it, really. And I'm seeing this energy really grow stronger and stronger as you progress through the month. And while you are spending some time sort of intellectualizing it, trying to understand it, There is that feeling there and there isn't really a lot you can say or do about it because you feel it. What you can do about it is strive to bring whatever you feel to awareness and in the process decide whether or not it works for you in your life, in your circumstances to support what you're feeling with action. For others of you, though, I do think that there's a percentage of Aries out there who are actually going to experience this projected, meaning that you may attract somebody who seems to have a strong desire for you, a strong attraction for you, and maybe they are very different. Maybe it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense as to why this person would be drawn to you, why this person would be attracted. And what I mean by that is, of course, I'm sure, I have no doubt absolutely that you are beautiful and uh, can have every good thing that this world has to offer. But Sometimes people are drawn to us, and if you were to ask them, why is it that you are drawn, um, they wouldn't be able to give you a proper answer. Um, And that's sort of the situation that I'm seeing. And it does look like if you're one of the people who ends up projecting this energy and drawing somebody to you, chances are very likely that... Um, the person that you draw in some way is really drawn to you, but you are feeling like you really need to take a, a bunch of steps back. And at the same time, really flattered by it as well. And so there's a little bit of tug and pull going on within you. Now, of course, as you hear all this, if you're in an established bond, um, then chances are the most likely manifestation while all this energy is going on around you, what I'm seeing is that the very likely outcome of this is going to be that you are drawn more closer to your partner. So the very likely outcome is that somebody is going to be drawn to you or your partner And because of that attention, you end up realizing how much more your partner actually means to you, probably more than you realized before. The person that you're seeing right now means to you more than you realized before. And that in turn allows you to be more open, to become more close. And so that should facilitate some very nice, very private moments um, where you can actually feel yourself and sense that your heart is opening more to this other person, to your partner or to the person that you're dating right now. Those of you who are not attached are going to find yourself wanting or at least having an awareness within you, whether it's brought on by someone else facilitating it or it's brought on by you and feelings facilitating it, but having an awareness that actually you do want to open your heart more than you have before, but there's a difference between wanting to open your heart and opening it to the right person. Not a lot is going to make sense this month where it comes to love, and that's a trend that's actually going to continue for you in the months to come. But even though that's the case, even though it seems like not a lot is making a lot of sense on intellectual levels or on levels of what's happened in the past, on levels of experience, no, as I said, that... It is ultimately those attractions that make us aware of our lessons. What you do about the energy is totally up to you. But that energy comes up to help you become better in some way, to help you move towards greater love and greater wisdom as part of the mystery and in a way that we all are as part of the mystery. This is your individual journey, your individual feelings that are part of moving you in that direction. So whoever comes, whatever immediate feelings are inspired, 
Make sure you stop and remind yourself that this is about your journey. This is about what you are meant to be learning in this moment. And then let your action stem from there. And then you can truly be at peace with whatever it is that you choose to do. And you could truly feel that you are walking a path that allows you a sense of learning, a sense of growth, and eventually a sense of gratitude as well. Thank you for watching. It'll be a great month. Be fabulous and enjoy.